From Coalface to Wild Place, RSPB Fairburnings is situated on the River Eyre in Yorkshire and covers 283 hectares of land. An important part of the reserve for rare wildlife is the coal tips. For 32 years, the reserve has only had a management agreement with Leeds City Council for this area. But now, thanks to the Biffer Award and the funding they provided, we've been able to secure this land for ourselves. Ex-colliery sites are important nationally for the early success of habitats which supports a wide range of invertebrates. Funding from the Biffer Award will build on habitat creation, enabling management to be more ambitious in longer term. Key habitats to benefit are dry acid grassland, reed bed which on this site is home to bitten, black neck grebe and starling roofs to name only a few. Fairburn would like this amazing part of the reserve to be accessible to all. And with thanks to Roy Taylor, who was the Yorkshire Area Reserve Manager, who felt passionate about the area, took it upon himself to make this happen. Unfortunately, Roy is not with us today to see what his hard work, passion and determination has created for the wildlife in the community. But his memory lives on as we decided to rename the coal tips the Roy Taylor Trail. Fairburn is important for people too. Saved for conservation by local enthusiasts 20 years before the RSPB took responsibility, the reserve offers amazing experiences for 70,000 visitors and growing. We have 112 active volunteers, an education programme, family events and much more, including a special visit from Springwatch in 2018. Presenter Gillian Burke has revisited the reserve since, after feeling, as many people do, a huge connection with this site. Well, I was here filming for Springwatch in 2018 and I fell in love, I mean really, it's no exaggeration, I fell in love with the site. Looking around at what it is today, um, I, at first it was just like this incredible story of natural recovery. But there's more layers to it than that and I think that's what makes this a really special site. It's because the sense I get is that there's a real sense of pride in what this place has turned into. And rightly so, because it's one of the, in fact, it is the most extraordinary natural recovery story I've had the privilege of covering as a presenter. This project was funded with the help of the Biffer Award as part of the Landfill Communities Fund. It means that fair burnings will continue to grow both for the community and wildlife, creating habitats and encouraging the next generation to appreciate and protect the species that call fair burnings and the Roy Taylor Trail their home. <laughs>